What's good, YouTube? Ladies and gentlemen, we are out here, and today we're gonna be creating a my player in every single 2K. First 2K my players were ever in was NBA 2K10. I was actually on this game literally like last week, and I was trying to find the first ever dribble moves that are in a my player. So right here, here we have the main menu. You guys see it says my player new. To the first time there are my players. I find that so wild. Like, this was literally a new mode back then. I just did this a few days ago, so I pretty much know what's going on, yo. Hey, the 2K insider. <laughs> first things first, go get yourself an image. Anybody that played 2K a lot in last gen remembers the 2K insider, dude. He like kind of coached you step by step on how to make your player, what's the best move. So if you're a point guard, you had an option to be pass first, scoring, defensive, or three point specialist, athletic, or all around. They had archetypes back in the day, bruh. Buff or rips, those are the only two options. Right here, it explains skill points. This was VC back in the day. So a seven foot five center is gonna get significantly less than a six foot 10 center. This is how they tried to control height back in the day. Look at all the customization you had on your player, bruh. You start as a 40 overall, dude, if you were all around, but if you were past first 39, 39, I had 60 medium, they call it medium range instead of mid range. My shot three point is a 55, hello? All right, this is what I'm going with. The Doculus Lawrence, that's me right there. I'll be honest here. Your goal out of all this is for a team, any team, to give you an invite to training camp. It's time to get started. They're waiting for you. I'm ready. I'm gonna literally get a bucket and then move on to 2K11. I don't know how much they changed throughout the years, but I'm assuming it's a good amount because 2K11 was the best 2K of all time on last gen. Yo, I literally remember this dude. I have a thousand skill points. This is before this game was pay to win, I think. Your player stats, I remember all this kind of vividly. Wow, look at this old arena, bro. Well, pass back. Greatness. Yo, it's this air ball. Oh, nah, bro. Oh, nah. Good rebound. We out, we out. Fast break. Give me my bucket so I can get off this game, please. And one. And one, let's go. Perfect release, baby. Am I the best? Definitely. And one. Get buckets out here. I completed an objective. That's enough for me to get out of here. On a 2K11. Am I gonna lie, they're wildin' though for starting people at a 40 overall back in the day, yo. Okay, on to 2K11 which is greatly proclaimed as the best 2K on last gen. Hey, I can't argue with that. I love this game a lot. I remember the hype for it, dude, with the Michael Jordan intro and all that, insane, dude. There was actually a new type of my career mode, and it was specifically under the category of Michael Jordan. It was called Creating a Legend, but I don't have access to that. My player, baby, this is the second year is out, obviously. Hey, yo, what the? From what I just saw, it's 30 minutes to 25 overall on the top right. You guys see the 2K insider is back. Once again, drip, y'all see the Mohawk, it's simple. Pass first, scoring, defensive, three point specialist, athletic all around. If I'm not mistaken, this is the exact same as last time. But as you guys can tell, throughout the years, you started getting better and better as you started. Oh no, I'm a 36. What's, what's all around start as though? So it says you're starting as a 37, but I swear these stats are a little bit better. You guys see though, the customization on last gen, it literally amazes me to this day, dude. Okay, I do actually see the graphic improvement a little bit, a little bit. First started playing 2K. I was so bad, I literally don't think I got drafted. I'm gonna just get a few buckets in, all right? It's time to be great, the draft combine, bro, what? He's off, I send the double team. Look at me snagging up, <laughs> no! Dude, I'm so used to dribbling with the right stick, I forgot you can only shoot with that. I just need to get a bucket in, dude. 2K10, 2K11 was actually hard, and I have no clue what I'm doing. Can I get open? I'm actually bad. Lo, what was the best 2K on last gen? What was it, 15 or 16, what was it? Last gen. Oh, uh. uh... 11. W. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get a land. Get a bucket in real quick, then, Davis. Hey, we're on 2K12 with it. I actually rock with this menu heavy, yo. There's no players online. The whole thing is great because they cut off the servers. 2K, why are you guys the only game that cuts off the previous server? NBA's greatest. I think that's another version of Create a Legend, right? The creation. This is when they had like the title screens with the intense music after everything. Play style is pretty much the same, right? So they haven't changed the archetypes at all since the My Career thing has come out. I'm pretty sure this is another year of height affecting the amount of skill points you get per game. Okay, so the fact that you started at 60 overall is wild now. It used to be like a 37. First it was 40, then 37, now it's 60. You get an 82 three-pointer to start off? This is when you had custom jump shots. Why did they take that away? That's pretty much it for the customization. I, look at the rookie showcase. Imagine after every single thing I said, I was just like, Welcome to NBA 2K12. All right, so we're out here in the rookie showcase, man. I cannot lie to you, man. Finally being a 60 over overall not having the most trash stats let me see what i can do here okay pull up okay i'm still missing yo you get you lose skill points for just missing shots hello get buckets 
Get fucking tired, you boys. Damn, I got 40 for making a shot, all right. Give me that, Logo, we out. We going to the break? We going to the break? Straight your buckets out here, I'm out of here now. Oh, is this the first year they have presets for my players? <laughs> this is when they separated my player from my career. They wanted to be like two different game modes, yo. This is when they first added clothing for your player. I hope I'm not wrong about this. I know people are gonna get mad. My player closet. Oh, the servers are off, so of course I can't do anything. This must be the first edition of online blacktop then, right? That's actually super dope. I see the evolution. All right, point guard. All these archetypes are the same. So the archetypes never change on last gen, okay. Height doesn't do anything that I see right now. Does Wade do anything? No. I'm going with the three point specialist. You start as a 64. The stats are pretty much the same off the rip. So we got the custom jump shots. Okay, nothing really has changed here. So they kind of copied and pasted a little bit. New control stick. Is this the first year the right stick being the primary? Yes, sir, it is. Oh, look at this moving crossover, me spamming. Oh, the stamina. The stamina was always a thing on last gen, it appears, yo. From Limitless, right? Boom. Oh, we out, we out. You can, I know you can make that pass, bro. Pull up! That's greatness! Playing defense. Playing defense, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, quick little buckets out here, all right? Signature skills. This is the first year they introduced badges. I'm not gonna lie, that did catch me off guard a bit. I had no clue that they introduced it this year. A lot of these are still in the game, but just breaking down into smaller badges. Like, I think there's a whole bunch of badges for post playmaker. This game, they basically just added badges. Not a lot of difference with the customizing. Now it's time to hop into next generation NBA 2K14. I say this every time I get on this game, this menu screen is so bland, yo. This is actually kind of weird looking. Yo. I've never seen this screen in my life. So they changed it to pass first scoring defensive three-point special athletic all around I'm if I'm not mistaken. It's pretty similar to last gen stuff. Wow Okay, the customization with the body length and stuff like that. All right, all right NBA 2K14's biggest draw is that it brought in the first ever my part and of course it has these next-gen cutscenes <laughs> Okay, so the cutscenes seem to be the newest thing the rookie showcase is what they had for the last few years the same intense sound effect. So the biggest upgrade that I'm noticing so far in NBA 2K14 from last gen to next gen with the My Player system is just really cutscenes. The builds are pretty much the same, and it seems like you're going on the same exact journey. Can I just get a quick little bucket in? Let's get it. Well, after finishing that game and getting drafted, it gives you a cutscene of you driving while headed to the game. Take a break. Here you can upgrade your player, review your stats. But okay, I actually haven't seen this. I didn't play 2K14 in my career. Okay, so I have 5,000 VC from this. All right, I see the player upgrade system. Badges are still here. Of course, they didn't take away badges. Signature skills, are these like the moves you can equip? I'm assuming Park would've been on here somewhere, but as we all know, Park servers are no longer with us. Not much of an upgrade in terms of actual things in the game, but the cutscenes and the graphics were a major upgrade for next gen. Time to hop into 2K15, which was, in my opinion, the most fun 2K. NBA 2K15. Like I said, this is the most fun 2K, man. They went from one park in 2K14 to three brand new parks, a DLC park, a brand new game mode in stage, a brand new game mode in the Jordan Rec Center, an entire new park rep system, an incredible reward as playing as a mascot at the park, and then a whole nother game mode stage in the elevator that goes from the stage to the high rolls. The content in this game has never been matched from 2K to the next 2K. My career time, bruh. From my knowledge, making your height larger didn't change anything negatively about your player. So this is the first year without actual archetypes, I guess. Undrafted. Basketball has been my life since day one. What am I gonna do now? This is the worst voice acting in any 2K. Yo, it's taking us inside the stage. Man. NBA 2K15, this gameplay is so arcadey. I don't even remember how to dribble, bruh. Can I get a white? Ugh, I'm telling you. It gets easier and easier every year, bruh. We out? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a combo, ain't it? Sheesh! This is what my crew was like in 2K15. It had this like weird sideways my court. And as you guys can see, you just basically upgrade it and it changes as you went along. But you guys see, this is how it basically worked back then. Signature styles, everything, nothing too crazy, but it was a difference. You kind of chose what your build was, basically. 
Going back through this just gives me crazy memories. Yo, there was one fadeaway that was literally broken. That's basically what making a player is like in NBA 2K15. Now on to NBA 2K16, the best 2K. Yes, sir. This is one of the 2Ks I put the most hours on, without a doubt. They had a completely different Spike Lee story. It was incredible. You guys see, they only had three things, inside, outside, or balance. Now, just for the hypothetical reasons, we already know this was the best build in 2K16. 6-7 outside point guard. Weight had nothing, no matter. They had the high schools back in this game. Incredible, man. I actually don't remember if the arm span, I don't think the arm span or any of that had an effect on you. Living the dream, man, look at this. Next, frequency vibrations, AKA freak. This is living the dream. Oh, Vic. Yo, I remember this whole story very well, man. I'm not about to sit here and have y'all sit through cutscenes though, okay? Oh my goodness, the mic cord, man. Ah, this mic cord brings back so many memories, dude. This game had so many things like connections. I'm not in the NBA, so you're not gonna be able to see that, but you guys see how the system was. You could upgrade however you wanted to. You guys see the badges are in the game. You have to individually earn them. Signature styles, animations. Oh my goodness, man. Even as a 55, I'm about to put on the most toxic thing ever. I better still remember how to do it. Hang on, it's like this. Oh yes, sir. <laughs> Overpowered still, man. This game had connections, and I remember specifically, you got the Terminal 23 core, and everyone was going crazy about that when it first came out. The game is incredible. The gameplay is amazing. Oh my goodness. I'm about to play a high school game for the one time, bruh. I don't know why they took high school out. I kind of thought it was pretty cool, yo. Hey, look at this, look at this, man. Oh my, you guys see how overpowered this is? Hello? Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure you started as a 55 overall in this game. It was easier and easier as a starting my career as the years went on. I'm not complaining though, because this was fun, just dominating people in high school. Look at me spamming out. I'm gonna get one more bucket before we move on to 17, bruh. Oh my goodness, oh my, oh my goodness. I cannot complain, man, this game was very fun. NBA 2K17. This game gets thrown around like pretty highly. It's like one of people's favorite 2Ks recently. And it's not a bad game, just at the time when it came out right after 2K16, I was really frustrated that they gave us the same parts. But creating a player here, this is the game that they reintroduced the actual archetypes. For instance, Playmaker, Lockdown, Slasher, Shot Creator, Sharpshooter, and Sharpshooter. Now, Pete, this is real similar to Pass First, Defense, Athletic, Scoring, probably Scoring, yeah, and Three Point Specialist. So this is kind of making the full circle back to what they did in 2K13, which I didn't even think about till now recently. The best build, obviously, was a 6'2 speed with a sharpshooter, right? <laughs> I mean, like, goodness. But I'm gonna make a playmaker for the time being. I remember when the prelude came out and people were able to make their builds ahead of time. It was so awesome. 2K, that's a W, man. The preludes are always a W. We need Park in the prelude this year, though. No cap! Not bad, right? Oh, I know I didn't teach you that. Oh, you definitely didn't teach me that. No, I learned that in AAU and Summer Ball. Oh, come on. There's no fundamentals. It's all flash and spice. I, I remember they had the college licenses. One question, 2K. How come you guys sick. never it's made the next step and just crazy. added, like, the college mascots? They're literally in the game. player in the country has chosen the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. So you guys see the upgrade system in this game, but the badges are what changed everything. In 2K16, you can get every single badge on gold. But in 2K17, you can only get every single badge on bronze. And then the main badges for your category, since I'm a playmaker, you can get those badges on Hall of Fame. Let me cook up for the one time. Okay, I can't hear you. Okay, the crowd's gone. It just cut off out of nowhere. I'm gonna give a quick little bucket in here. I ain't gonna lie to you, Chief. Your boy is very familiar with this dribble system. Oh my God, that shot meter. That drop though? Like, you used to start as a 30 overall and not be able to hit any shots. As a 50 overall here, I can make anything, dude. Are we out? Can I go crazy? And one, get buckets out here, bruh. Look at me, look at me comboing up a little bit, you feel me? Look at me go stupid. I've got enough buckets out here, man. Hey, it's time to hop on to a 2K that um we all wish we could forget about. NBA 2K18. Brother. NBA 2K18, I got on Xbox to do it because I didn't feel like downloading it again on PS4. Thank goodness the servers are off for this game. So this is the first game that actually introduced double archetypes. And of course, our least favorite thing, the neighborhood. If I'm not mistaken, and I genuinely don't remember, which is wild, I'm pretty sure my build was primary playmaking, secondary, three-point shooting. 6-4, I'm pretty sure. Man, like I said, dude, this is well known as the worst 2K on next gen. I'm not a big fan of this game. It just didn't get a lot of things right, bro. Like the gameplay, build system is not bad at all. It's, it's average. Movement, woo! Awful. Yo, that's crazy. The servers are offline, so it just throws you directly into your team. It doesn't take you throughout the whole neighborhood animation anymore. 
That's actually crazy, dude. Is there a microwave anymore? Wow, there's not even a microwave anymore. This game has the badge progression, so it showed you how close you were getting to your badges and you could grind for it in park. Which is cool, actually, it's the first game you could grind for badges in park. I forgot about that. But overall, man, this, being in this game just makes me sleepy, dude. You guys see, this is how you upgraded. Badge progression to W, getting badges in park to W. Now on to a game I really liked and I played a lot of, NBA 2K19. NBA 2K19, this is like my third favorite 2K of all time. I really enjoy this game a lot. There's some problems with the meta and stuff like that, like two centers and lockdowns, playing guard and all that. But regardless, this game is really fun and it's really good. Now I'm gonna just show the creating of my player screen. I'm gonna get on my guard though to get the bucket, all right? Hey, yo, why you got me hey, bald yo, in here, dog? So this is your number two of the double archetypes. This is what I went with as my build, I'm pretty sure. Once you select your build, it just basically told you what badges you could get. Pretty basic stuff, you feel me? Like an upgraded version of 2K18 system. Now it shows you directly how height and how height has an impact on your player, which I really like. Same thing with bait, it directly shows you how it affects your game up or down, whatever it does. Wingspan, having an effect on your player. I know I know they had an effect in 17 and 18, but this year really, really matters. I'm hopping on my actual build to get a bucket on 19 for the one time, I right? Okay, I'm gonna just hop on a random core right here and get a bucket. Finally, I can play Park, dude. Been playing my career for like the last eight 2Ks. On 19 and 20, the only ones I can play Park on. I gotta put my mic in, dude. I gotta put my mic in. And he messaged me saying, hi, I am a fan. I got you. Hey, listen. Don't come out here and sell me, nigga. I don't even feel... Yo, what's up, expert? What up with you, dog? I'm Davis. I'm your, I'm a, I'm your biggest fan, bro. Hey, I appreciate it, my guy. That's real, bro. I'm about to drop your ass out, baby. Yo, for sure. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a little late for you to be angry. Well, I've been watching since 2017. Are you for real? I appreciate the support, my guy. Oh my goodness. Bro, I've been one of Yo, for hey, so hey, it's, hey. it's like midnight, my guy. Hey, what are you, hey, what are you hey, mad at? Hey, big jersey. Hey, big jersey. Come here, give me the ball, boy. Ooh. Hey, help out, help out, help out, help out. I can't even hear. I'm telling you, move. Go to the corner. Just hit the corner three point. Give me the ball and go to the corner. This guy sucks, dude. Yo, he do be clapped. I cannot lie to you. Bro, you, you told me you dunk, dog. Nah, I just got, I just got you clapped up, my guy. You no clamps, bro? Are you kidding me? I'm telling you what. Oh my. Look yeah, at the double oh team, bro. My, yeah, there wasn't no double bro, team. I was guarding you, Shut up. Come here, guard me. You talking? Guard me. I am guarding you. You in a box? Who's in a box? Greedy. Who's in a box? Who's in a box? You I, am cooking, you I am cooking. I am cooking, y'all. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, yeah, you got that glitch on, bro. I don't have a glitch on, bro. I'm just a guard. Yeah, now, welcome to, the, welcome to the Euro Show. Go uh, to the Euro you Show, my guy. Ghosty. Welcome to the Euro Show. Yo, I just dropped that man off. Uh, I have the full game on my second channel right now. On to NBA 2K20, though, now, all right? Well, I will create the final my player and get the final bucket. NBA 2K20. So, I'm gonna do the same thing I did on 19. I'm gonna just show the process of creating a player and then play on my main player. This year was very unique. They came with a lot of heat for the building. First off, you could test your build, but they gave all these power charts, which is kind of archetypes, but you had way more customization. Then they gave you physical profiles. Probably my favorite building system, to be honest. I'm gonna just build a random build. Like I said, I'm not using this. But as you guys know, anyone who plays 2K20 knows this. As you put a category up, you get badges for it. Height affects speed and attributes. Weight affects things as well. Wingspan affecting things. You choose your takeover. And then it compares you to a build. I'm gonna get a bucket on my offensive thread that never does me wrong. Get me buckets out here, all right? Why do 20 parts look like a ghost town compared to 19, bruh? Hopping off of randoms to get my one bucket on 20, you feel me? Ah, game time on 20. The last ticket we're doing this for. Okay. I'm calling because they keep triple teaming. I just want to get a bucket, man. Greatness. Green. Thank you. Sheesh. I do be cooking though. That's enough for me, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, hey, I created a my player on every single 2K. We got a bucket on as well. This video was very long and tough to make. So if you enjoyed and you made it to the end, drop a like. If you made it to the end of the video, let me know you made it by saying mission complete because that's how I know who made it to the end, all right? That 19 game, I actually finished that game out. With that old hell was talking reckless, y'all have that full video up on my second channel. So if you guys are looking for someone to watch after this video, there you go. Thank you guys so much, Lone Support. It's truly been amazing. Hit that subscribe button 
if you're new, we're on the grind to 1 million. We are 86% man. Subscribe if you're new. We gotta grind for the 870k. That's gonna wrap it up for today though. Alright, thank you guys so much for the support. It's truly been amazing. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. It's been Boy Davis. I'm out. Peace.